question is, if you join the Aisha prayer or any prayer, he gave an example of Aisha prayer late. You missed a couple of rakahs. He said, what if you join in the third rakah, what should you do? It's answered in the hadith which is collected by Imam al-Bukhari. When the Prophet ﷺ heard noise after he finished, he heard jalabat rijal noise like people were jogging in the masjid. He said, what was that? They said, we wanted to catch the rakah with you. He said, when you come to the masjid, come with tranquility, walk and do not jog. فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُوا فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُوا Each word and each term is very specific because changing the term can change the hukm. So what is the meaning of فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُوا And that is the reference in the hadith. Whatever you catch with the imam, join in. You find the imam standing, Stand with him. In ruku' bow down with him. In sujood, prostrate yourself with him. In tashahud, even the last tashahud, sit down and join the imam in, in tashahud. Then, what is next? وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُّ And whatever you missed, complete it. So there is a difference between فَأَتِمُّ and فَقْضُ فَأَتِمُّ according to the sound collection of Imam al-Bukhari means that the order will be according to your own setup. I join the Imam in the second rakah, or in the third rakah, or in the fourth rakah. It doesn't matter. Which rakah is it for you? That's my first rakah. So handle it and deal with it likewise. That's your first unit. So when you join the Imam in the fourth rakah, it's your first rakah. So you say, Allahu Akbar. The Imam is reciting quietly. You recite Surah Al-Fatiha. And you begin reciting a short surah or a few ayat if you have a chance. If the Imam gives you a chance, why? But this is the Imam's fourth rak'ah. That's why he was quiet in the recitation. True, but we agreed. وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُّ It is your first rak'ah. You will deal with it as your first rak'ah. Then once the Imam finishes, how many rak'ahs have you missed? Three. Okay, so you stand up to pray your second rakah requires you to treat it as a second rakah, which means the following. I would recite again Surah Al-Fatiha and another surah or a few ayat. It's a sunnah. What if somebody joined me and he appointed me as his imam and prayed behind me? It's my second rakah, so I should be reciting out loud. Yes. Then when you sit for the middle tashahud, you, th you, you rise up for the third rak'ah, you recite quietly, Uli al-Fatiha, and without reciting uh, a surah or ayat. Why? Because third and fourth rak'ah. That is the meaning of فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُوا And this is the opinion of the vast majority of the jurists based on this hadith. There is a weaker narration which says وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَقْضُوا Make it up which would change the whole setup. I don't want to confuse you, but basically the more right view and the opinion of the vast majority is to follow what I mentioned earlier. Join the Imam in any position the Imam is in. Then complete your prayer and handle your first rak'ah with the Imam as the first rak'ah.